To look at neurons in more depth, let's start with the dendrites. To me, a neuron looks like a circle with a long line drawn through it, or two trees held together by a circle. One tree receives chemicals from neighboring cells. This is the tree of dendrites. And the tree at the other end, the axon tree, releases chemicals. The circle is the soma, the cell body. It nourishes both trees and acts like a switch between them. The dendritic tree looks like raw ginger to me. It is branched, bumpy, and bulbous. The branches are close to the soma or come directly off it. They are bulbous rather than sharp and pointy. And a dendrite has a rough texture because it is covered with chemical receptors called dendritic spines. Some dendritic spines are stubby. They look like little bumps or mounds. Some, called mushroom spines, look like mushrooms. But most dendritic spines have a thin neck and a ball-shaped head on it. They look like the pins you use on your bulletin board, only with flexible necks. Here's how it works. If a chemical released by another neuron is floating along an intercellular space and runs into the head of a dendritic spine, the interaction causes a change in the membrane wall of the neuron. A neuron is covered with a membrane that is embedded with proteins. These proteins make holes or gates that can open and close. There are specific gates for sodium, calcium, and potassium. When the head of a dendritic spine is activated, some of the gates or channels open temporarily, allowing only one of these ions to flow in or out of the cell. Here's what you need to know about ions. They are electrically charged, and they move from high concentrations to low concentrations. The charge impacts the overall voltage of the cell. The level of concentration determines which direction the ions flow across the cell wall. Typically, there are a lot of sodium cells on the outside and only a few inside. So when a sodium gate opens, sodium rushes in. Similarly, there is an imbalance in potassium. But there are more potassium ions inside than outside. So when the potassium gates open, they rush from inside to outside the cell. Both sodium and potassium ions are positively charged, but they go in opposite directions when their gates are open. The dendrites regulate which gates open, how quickly they open, how quickly ions can go through the gates, and how long the gates stay open. This regulation can amplify the effects of stimulation or dampen it. Some drugs make dendrites more sensitive to stimulation or cause the ion gates to stay open too long.